Oh, hello. Yes, um, I was given this number by Harrow Central Mosque. Um, yeah. I hope it's not inconvenient <laughs> to to call. Um, my name is Robert. I was given some Islamic literature quite some time ago. Um, I visited a local mosque. They weren't very helpful. They gave me literature. They took my number. No one's got back to me. I've just got questions, really. What type of question? Um, well, one of them is I was given a, a Quran. It's very difficult to use because there's no chapter numberings. You know, it would go by the cow, the repentance, but it doesn't number them. So I'm writing the numbers down as I go through it. Dr. Muhammad Musin Khan version. Mm. Um, Surah 5 verse 20 talks about Moses. And it talks about his people, Moses' people. I would assume that's the Hebrews. Mm. And then it says in verse 21, O oh my people, that's the same people, enter the Holy Land, Palestine, which Allah has assigned to you, and turn not back in flight, for then you will be returned as losers. So it seems to be saying that Allah gave the Holy Land, Palestine or, or Israel, to Musa's people, the Hebrews. I mean, wouldn't that be what it's saying? You know, this land is Allah SWT. It's not a... Is it, it, not something with the same people, same time. This is, is with the generation, with people coming. Is all this is is a transferring one place to other, one land to other. Is not a. Could, could you speak slowly? Because I, I can't understand you. Could you just speak slowly? Thank you. Yeah. So, what I'm saying that if, oh, everything belongs to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, belong to Him. So the time when the time was uh, Moses, that was the ruling. After that. People come, generation come, so it's not the same rule. So it's a, it's a, you know, the distribution of wealth and this. So don't think that is a something is written for one people or other. So this is the distribution of the wealth is in a different way in Islam. Okay. So uh, my brother. I don't know. Uh, I, do, I don't know. I, some, uh, I honestly some, don't. Uh, I honestly some, don't know uh, what you're talking about. A uh, guest with me, uh, someone. I don't so, understand you. If you I, have any questions, could you please come in my office? Maybe uh, fix the time so that I will give you. I lunch. live two hundred and fifty miles away in Plymouth. Yes, sir. You, uh, you can, at this moment, uh, because you just ring me with someone with me. So uh, uh, someone uh, with you. <laughs> Gosh, you didn't get that off the Jehovah's Witnesses. That's what they say as well. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, someone is with me in my office. I, I, I was. In the middle of the, uh, you know, the sum. Right. Well, well, why don't you take my number? My name is Robert, and you call back, call me back when it's convenient for you. Let's see. You then uh, you should uh, bet, better is you should write down the your question right. and send me an, in writing so that easy for me. Okay. Assalamualaikum. So it's easy for you. I mean, I thought. Oh gosh, gosh, that's that's Harrow, Harrow Central Mosque, the Imam. Gosh, isn't that amazing? It's even worse than the Jehovah's Witnesses. Gosh, you shine the light on them and they, they flee. It's, it's amazing.